Hey guys, just wanted to update you as to what I've been doing lately. I decided to try my hand at phytoplankton culturing. So I had grabbed a bottle of DTs a couple weeks ago and some miracle Grow. Um, as most people in the reef hobby know, uh, phytoplankton can get kind of expensive after a while. Um, especially if you're using like DTs or something and you can be, pay 40 bucks for like 500 mils. Um, so I took a bottle of DTs and that's what I started with to make this culture here. Um, I think they call it a culture anyway. Whatever, to make this shit here in the bottle. So it's um, not quite as dark as I had hoped, but uh, it's been a couple weeks. It doesn't look like it's had any die off or crash, so I want to split it before that happens. Um, so I just want to show you that first, and now I'm going to show you how I did it. So. The, sorry there, I just had to undo the cap. The first bottle, because it was smaller, it kind of, you got to adjust your formula, just use your best judgment when you're starting off with the bottle of DTs. But now, once I've got this cultured now, I've got my directions right here. So I'm going to want to go about a one liter, so half of this bottle with this here uh, green phytoplankton. I should have drawn a line where it was halfway, but it's okay. I don't care. We'll just get half a bottle. Let's see how that looks. Is that maybe? Because remember, I don't go right to the top. So that should be pretty good. And then that means that is what's left for my tank out of this, you know, uh, amount. So then I need to take um, one liter, or roughly, because I'm not quite a liter on that, so it doesn't have to be exact, of 0.019 water. I've already pre-mixed this to, and it can be a little low. Don't, um... You don't want it higher from what I read online, but you definitely couldn't go lower. Some people use all the way to down to 0.01. So, um, if I can get this there to focus, except it's focusing on the back. There we go. I'm between 0.18 and 1.9. Good enough. So, I'm going to, just to make it easier to pour, we're going to just pour that into this. Bear with me, guys. It's hard for one person to do this, you know. And these measurements do not have to be exact. The world's not going to come to an end. Your shit's not going to all die. It just has to be more or less half of that bottle. And 0 0.019 tap water for whatever reason. The uh, phytoplankton's like the shit in tap water. So... We're going to pour some of this in there. We can get that to focus at the same time. And I'm going to go most of the way up, not quite all the way. That should be pretty good right there. It leaves a little room. And then, liquid miracle grow. Some people use uh, uh, macro grow, um, some other ship, especially for this. But uh, liquid miracle grow will work. So there's people that have been doing it for years and they've never had a problem, so that's good enough for me. And two two liters, so if that had been a full two liters, I would want five mils. So it's not quite, so let's bump out... Uh, half a mil like that into my little uh, refugium build tank there. It's nothing spectacular. It's just a little project I got going. Um, and the rest we're going to put in there like that. Then I have, if I can find it here, a special cap with a hole in it right there. So actually first I'm going to cap it with a good cap. Give it a quick shake. Shake, shake, shake. 
if you want, you do it like this, like a shake weight. Because that's the better technique, you know, with the crotch and everything. It's okay. So, get a little shake weighted with it. Then, switch over, put a cap with a hole drilled in it. That's a fancy hole too, that's not some bullshit hole. And then you're not going to put this on quite tight. And that's because this is kind of like your air valve. You don't need an inline air valve if you do that. Then you got to set up a grow up. This is where you cultivate the drugs, or in this case, phytoplankton. You grab a little cabinet or something, and you want to get as bright as you can. The brighter, the better, without heating up and burning it. So I just use these bulbs. They're not that bad. You can touch them like this. You could finger fuck them if you could get in the hole there. But um, I'm going to put that there, and then stick this in. This is from just a little pet setter uh, air pump, just like so. Get it down towards the bottom, just like that. And then it's on a timer for eight hours on or sorry, 16 hours on, 8 hours off. And just a steady bubble like that. It, uh, once again, there's no precise shit. Don't let people tell you there is. And then, I just got it set up on my little timer there. I got dirty my floors. This is my shop floor, don't worry about it. And that is pretty much the project. What I will do got a piece of tape on this bottle and we're gonna go tape it onto the other one and the reason we're gonna do that is so we can keep track of where our water level is so sorry guys just bear with me while I'm trying to tape this on just like that and so roughly where my water is so every Every day I'm going to come down, I'm going to give this a shake, first of all, just a light little uh, jerk in the gherkin, mix it up a bit, and then I'll uh, keep this cup here, that's to put a bit of fresh water in, so you just got to uncap it if the level drops, and that's to keep the salinity about where it is, because there's going to be some evaporation, and that is pretty much it, this here, this is good shit, you could drink that some cultures they do and uh, so now I can just transport that into a smaller bottle if I want or put it in my fridge like that see if anyone drinks it and it should be good to go um, just for those of you that saw my last video that's I just made a bullshit lid to kinda hold my lighting and my homemade filter system here just to try to keep the tank going Nothing exciting on there, a little cyano growth, some algae on the glass, I don't care. Alright guys, thanks for watching, go make some shit.